guys welcome to another tutorial video so we'll be making a bucket hat yes so if you don't know how to make a reversible bucket hat like this on the video stay and watch till the end of this video and you will learn it it's very easy very simple and it's a beginner friendly tutorial so this is a reversible bucket hat and we'll be making it in this tutorial let's go so the first thing you're going to do is to get the circumference of your head your head circumference right you get your tape and then you you measure the circumference of your head then you fold your material into four like so as if you want to cut a peplum right then you the, to get the crown that's the upper part you say your head circumference right divided by 6.28 so the head circumference we are working with is 28 inches sorry 22 inches divided by 6.28 right when you get your head circumference divided by 6.28 you get 3.5 so now you will mark out 3.5 like so as you can see in the picture on the video you mark out 3.5 round like so and then you mark it out okay you see just as if you're uh you're cutting out a a peplum right you mark out 3.5 like so and then you add your five inch half inch allowance as you can see and then you cut it out so the first step is to get the crown of your bucket hat right you fold your material into four as if you're cutting a peplum and then you get your head circumference divided by 6.28 whatever you get as the radius then you mark it then you mark out your center points the four corners of your crown you just mark it out and you label it so we we'll drop that aside then the next part we are going to cut out is the middle part of our pocket hat the middle part right so you are going to get your paper and then you fold it you can cut it on a on one straight paper do you get you must not fold it like i did on this um, video so you get your paper now your head circumference you are going to divide it by two so the first thing you are going to do is to mark out half inch seam allowance a straight half inch seam allowance like so then for the second part that's the middle part you are going to say your head circumference divided by two so the head circumference we are working with is 22 divided by 2 is 11 right so we are going to use that 11 we're not going to add um allowance to that 11 because that's the circumference we are working with so we we'll now mark out 11 inches like so and then we draw a straight line now we're going to determine how wide we want that middle part to be okay so we're going to determine how wide we want it to be so you can use 2.5 inches or 3 inches but for this tutorial i'm using 3 inches right so i'm going to mark out 3 inches like so that's how wide we want the middle part of our bucket hat to be so when we mark out the 3 inches wide we're going to mark out our allowance half each allowance round it as you can see if you look at the picture of a bucket hat you see that it has three parts the top part the middle part and the base right so we've cut out the top part which is the crown now we're cutting out the middle parts so we're going to mark that other part on fold you see the part i marked on fold so what it means is that when you are cutting it you are going to cut the material on fold do you get so this is the second part right so now we're going to cut out the last part now to cut out the last part which is the base part we're going to say the head circumference divided by 3.14 the head circumference divided by 3.14 now the head circumference as usual we're using is 22 divided by 3.14 is going to give us seven inches right that's the radius we will mark. So you get your paper, your pattern paper. You don't need to fold it this time, right? So from the edge of your pattern paper, you mark out your 7 inches radius that we got. So you mark out like so, as if you're marking out a peplum, same. You mark out your 7 inches round, 
as you can see guys please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel pause this video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be posting tutorials every day so we've marked out our seven inches radius like so now we're going to determine how wide we want our base to be you get so we're using three inches i'm using th three inches for this tutorial but you can make yours wider it depends on your preference you get and the amount of material that you have so the base of this bucket hat is going to be three inches wide and then we're going to add our allowance to the base our allowance of half an inch i'm just trying to make this um, semi-circle to go well to just blend it in well so i'm going to blend the bottom part like so please if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to explain so mark out a half inch sewing allowance as you can see and then when we're done marking it out we'll cut it out so now we've cut out the three parts of our pocket hat the head that's the crown part the middle part and the base part right so we're going to cut it out now this is the length we are using so when we're done cutting it out the next thing we're going to do is to cut it out on our fabric now the bucket hat i'm making is going to be a reversible bucket hat what do i mean you can wear it in two ways right so you are going to mark this part on fold meaning that you're going to cut it on a fold you get so when you're done cutting it this is how it's going to look these are the three parts right the, you see that the parts i wrote on fold they are facing each other they are on the same place so you you fix it on the your, you place it on your fabric like this so when you get your fabric you, you have already placed the material i folded my material into two and now i'm just going to cut it out like so so please when you are making your bucket hat please follow the procedure so that it will be easy for you to understand now this bucket hat that i'm making i want it to be a reversible bucket hat it means that you can either wear the the both sides right so i'm going to use two colors to make it so i'm going to use both black color a black material and i'm still going to use a white material so the same way i cut the black parts I'm going to cut fold my white material into two and then cut it out again so we're going to have two piece two pieces of each of each pattern do you understand so we're going to have a piece for the white and another piece for the black hope you understand so now i'm done cutting it and i'm going to notch the center points of this a of this um our uh, material i'm going to notch the center points of all the material now it's time for us to fix it to put our patterns together so now the first thing you are going to do is to get that middle part right the middle part you are going to sew the edge like so that is put it together like so can you see and then you get the crown remember to mark your inner fabric and the outer fabric that's the the back and the front of your material right then you pin it up like so you ma you see those parts that we notched right you pin it together like so and then you join the crown and the middle parts round so after joining the crown and the middle parts round this is how it's going to come out like so can you see it's coming out so the next thing we are going to do is to join the base so i've, I've first of all joined it to be one piece and then i'm going to open it up i've already notched the middle and then if you watch you see that when i'm joining it i open up the the seams that i make i open it up can you see and i join i i make sure that i join the parts that have seam together so you should do same for yours so now i'm going to join this round because i've notched the middle that's why after cutting your pattern paper on your fabric make sure you cut you you notch the middle part that's what is going to help you to be able to join it seamlessly like you won't have um troubles joining the parts together so now i'm going to join it round 
and when i'm done joining it round this is how our cap our bucket hat is going to be now if it was that i'm not going to do a reversible bucket hat this is our bucket hat i'm just going to fold the hem of the baseline and our bucket hat is ready but i want it to be a reversible bucket hat i want to be able to wear it inner or outer so i'm going to do the same thing i did for the white part i'm going to do it for the black part of the bucket hat hope you understand you notch the areas you join the open parts of the middle and the baseline and then you connect the middle part to your crown before you connect the baseline so we are done with our bucket hat can you see yeah you if you're seeing it you say i made two bucket hats yes because i want it to be reversible so now when we are done i just want to show you when we are done sewing this bucket hat this is how it will look the inner parts will be white while the outer parts will be black you get so now i'm going to get the white part and turn it over with the black part so the the front parts will be facing each other while the back will be facing each other can you see the front the black part is in front then i'm using the white part to join it so you get your pin and secure it do you get and then you sew it round when you're sewing it round remember not to complete the stitches give a little space that you used to turn it up so now i'm done sew sewing it round can you see it's just the back part you can see right because i've sewed the inner part so this little space that i left i'm going to turn our hats over to the we're going to flip it over to the front part so that it will look neat so when we flip it over to the front this is how our bucket hat looks like can you see how lovely it looks so you can wear your the black one when you're wearing a black outfit or you want a black uh, hat you can wear the white one if you're wearing a white outfit and whatever so now for that part that is open i wanted to sew it but i said no it won't give a neat finishing right so i use this my b6000 gum i just can you see this b6000 gum i just placed it on the fabrics fabric and i allowed it to cool down for some minutes and then i flipped it over right make sure you fold it in you fold the rough edges inside and then you close it down like so so instead of um, sewing yours you can use your gum to do it it gives it a neater finishing right and anybody that sees it will be like how did this person make this yes this is how you made it you're a magician <laughs> so guys this is the end product of our bucket hat our reversible bucket hat you can wear the white part and you can wear the black part it depends on you so if this tutorial is helpful to you do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for watching